Hey guys, it's SF, and today I will be playing Izanami. And if you see my team, Low Lady, Low Lady Lai, Susano, and Susano. Basically, I just want to show how Susano works. And then, no damage walls, strike shot is the same, but the bomb combo improves to a lock on one way laser, which is a big change to the transcendent version. And I did get a request from one of my challenge videos to not bring any no gravity bearing monsters to Izanami if I remember correctly. So here it is. Uh, this is not going to be on the challenge Thursdays series. It's just uh, kind of an add on. It's more focused on Susano and how awesome he is. And even with a full, even with a dungeon with no gravity barriers, although there is some damage walls, but this team just wrecks, just wrecks. Izanami to the bone and I brought three pierce monsters just for just to proc Susano so it all depends on Susano's positioning and all of them have no warp so should be able to get to Susano no matter where it is as long as the ground barriers don't screw me over let's go get to Susano and there goes the zombie. Too bad I don't have two Susanos or Susano friends. Or else this will be a lot smoother in my opinion. But it's basically proc Susano and then his lasers will basically wreck. Okay. Minions are going down very, very quickly. And Susanon. That should be it. Yeah. Low ladies and Susanos. Too good. Too good. Okay. Let's just hit Susano and then proc the bump. And just maybe get lucky with the zombie in terms of the homing pier instructions. Okay. So Susano's position for the killing of the zombie. There we go. And there goes all the mobs. Or most of the mobs. And it's basically proc pump combos. Okay. Almost, almost. And let's get to Suzuran. And Suzuran is pretty fast. He has like over 400 speed. Probably one of the fastest monsters in the game. And since he's really fast, his strike shot does even more damage because it depends on his speed. Okay, next is Low Lady. This low lady, which is awesome. Bye bye, zombie. This is too good. As long as I hit Susano for damage, it's like basically GG. <laughs> and that is if I can. Although the gravity bear is going to be a little bit of a nuisance. But it should be alright. There we go. And boss time. This is the worrisome part because of positioning of Susano. But it should be alright, I would think. Let's just get to Susano there. Just clump up for Susano, although the laser will be a little bit devastating, but I'll just beat it before that even happens. And all these guys have no warps. So I can just pass through these guys. And warp. Okay. Not bad. And going. And there it goes. 
first. He's an army. Okay, second stage. Starting off with the one low lady, low lady in the middle. Should I just go for Susano? It's gonna hit the warp guy. That's fine. As long as I stay away from the Bahamut, it should be okay. Nice. Laser. Okay. And there's Suzuran. Now she next is. Uh, should I just go for Suzuran? Because now she I have to position for Susano. Get down there. Okay. And then just basically hit Mr. S for all the damages. Ooh, that blast actually reached that far. I'm gonna grab one heart at least. If not, I'm gonna die. Okay. Susano doing all the work. Doing all the work while these guys are doing nothing. And next is Low Lady. I just want to position Susano for the top for the last stage. I don't have I don't have to be on like for the pinch spot. I just want to be there so that my lasers will actually aim there. And there's Susan. Awesome! I like that. And then Heart, sword, and then Sunno. If I can, yeah. Next time awesome. I, <laughs> I called it too. Okay, last phase. Starting off with Mr. with Mrs. L or Miss L. And I am just going to strike shot. Hit Susano. If I can reach that far, couldn't even reach that far. Strike shot. Will be your and I missed two. Whoop. Not the best, but doesn't matter that much. Of Ooh, that that meteor. And then last but not least, low lady. Just hit Susano, and that is the end. Hopefully. Yeah. Like I said, Susano, too good, too good. Uh, you have two, it'll go by a little bit faster, but you do have to position for two Susanos. So that might be a little bit troubling, but of course, you don't have to bring like low ladies and Susanos. You can bring like no Gradivarian monsters if you actually want to farm. Uh, if you actually want to farm, I'll probably recommend only one Susano. But either way, Susano is really, really strong. And I got a new time record, seven minutes, although it's for most parties, for people that farm, Izanami is not that fast, but if you can't really know the pinch spots and the match spots, then this party is really, really fast. And if you couple it with no gravity barrier monsters like Oruga or Napoleon, then it'll go a lot more faster. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.